What is a topological insulator? Let me answer that question in three parts. Let's start with the system which was studied some decades ago, which is a two-dimensional film of electrons with a large magnetic field pointing up through it like this. The interesting thing is that when that field gets very large, the electrons go into a state where they don't conduct electricity in the bulk of the film, but they conduct it around the edge in sort of skipping modes that look like this, and this is called Hall conductance. The interesting thing about these skipping modes is that they are so-called topologically protected. Whatever I do to the edge of the sample, make nicks in it, disorder it, the conduction persists, the mode just deforms to accommodate it. Why is this? Well, it was realized a while ago that it's basically protected in the same way that the hole in the center of a donut is protected. I can change the shape of the donut, I can add bits of dough or take them away, but the hole survives. It's a kind of global property of the thing. And that's topological protection. Now imagine that I could take two of these films and put them right on top of each other, but with one of them experiencing a magnetic field pointing upwards and the other experiencing a field pointing downwards. Then I would have edge modes going one way in the upper film and the other way in the lower film. Um, now, of course, I can't really make this because I can't have two films in the same place experiencing different magnetic fields, but it turns out the electron's own internal spin can act as this magnetic field, and that's what happens in the materials we call topological insulators. So I get an edge mode where the upspin electrons go one way, the downspin electrons go the other, and both are topologically protected.